Healthcare's come a long way in the last 30 years to move from old school learning to modern day state of the art teaching. So this is a trauma patient. He has um, ASA's 4E. The patient arrives at St. Michael's Hospital in critical condition. Ashley, can you please call the blood bank and see if they have four units cross mesh and ready to go? He was in a car accident and is hemorrhaging internally. The doctors need to find the source of the bleed fast. There's a lot of blood here in my surgical field suction. Can you see where it's coming from? I can't seem to find the source. Okay, can you? Can I get some suction yet? Okay, this patient, the patient's getting tachycardic. Can you try to find where you get the bleeding and see if you can clamp it? Yeah, the liver looks good. Clamp. Anything from this spleen? So in about 30 seconds, we're going to convert him to a defib arrest. The patient's in a cardiac arrest now. Uh, we have a crisis. The patient's in V-fib. Okay, so can you please pack? We're starting compressions and get the pads on, please. Call um, for a massive transfusion protocol. Okay, can you please pack? Try to control the bleeding as much as you can. Okay, the pads are on. Charging. Okay, we're going to deliver a first shock. Hentley, whenever you're ready, can you just stop? Everybody clear? I'm clear, you're clear? Okay, okay everyone's shock. clear. Shocking. Shock delivered. Okay. We're going to try to choose these three units. We're going to do compressions for another minute or two, and then we're going to check um, pulse. Okay, I think I got it. Everybody away. We're going to ch um, shock. Okay, everybody's clear. I'm clear. Everybody's clear. Okay, shock. Shock delivered. Christine, can you please check for a pulse? Yeah, we have a pulse. Okay, we can stop compressions now. Okay. Thank you guys, let's see breathe. Good job. They come here weekly every Monday afternoon for about four hours. A lot of it is about how we communicate, so teamwork, how we do our task management, um, how situation awareness. It's really um, impressive how realistic it can be. It might be, be like a silicone or something, but it's, it's just like very melty, so. I apologize that it looks gross. Here we have um, artificial blood. We have different organs in here. And actually under the operating room bed, we have a bucket of blood with a pump. And it actually continues to pump blood through the trainer. So that way, even as they suction the blood, it continues to fill up until they've done the intervention that would, that would fix the bleed. It's quite realistic. And so recently we did a scenario. They last about 10 minutes. And at the end, we said, OK, everybody, the scenario's finished. And they didn't want to stop because they were, they were so engaged. They had an emotional connection. So they, they wanted to keep going. So we said, oh, really, it's over now. These mannequins are so realistic. They breathe. They blink. And they're even warm to the touch. Wow, in his hand. What the? Now he's thrown up. Yeah. We don't want to simulate a death in a very junior resident because that might um, be overwhelming emotionally and psychologically and even impact their career. So. We're running um, simulations in this facility as well as across the hospital at the bedside in different departments of the hospital and thousands of people, staff, staff physicians, nurses, different health disciplines, students, um, they all go through simulation activities. It's so much more than the world's most intense game of operation. What's learned in a sim lab can influence hospital design. Practical things that got changed were the layout of carts, the layout of the room, where do you put the clock, simple things. Um, but simple things that matter when time matters most. And once the hospital or the rooms are built, we go in again because there's still ways that rehearsing or practicing a clinical event can make our systems that much better. Girl, that's precious extra seconds. Of as much as we can do of research and finding ways of using simulation as a, an educational, educational tool that can actually advance medicine is really um, what I'm looking for and what I think um, St. Mike's is also looking for.